In question 1, the graphs of 6 different polynomials p, x are given to us and what we have to determine is the number of zeros of p, x in each case. So just by looking at the graph, we have to determine how many zeros the polynomial has. So what reasoning can we use to solve this problem? Well, let's take any arbitrary graph of any polynomial p, x. Um, so here is an axis x and px so suppose that the graph of px looks something like this okay now for any value of x so let's say this is a value of x for this value of x so let's call it x1 the corresponding value of the polynomial will be given by this point here and the corresponding value of px will be uh, this value here which means that for points where the graph crosses the x-axis, which is this point and this point, the corresponding y value, the value at the y-axis is 0, which means that if you substitute these values of x into the polynomial, uh, the polynomial's value will become 0. So the points where the graph crosses the x-axis are the points which are zeros of the polynomial. If you substitute those values of x into the polynomial, you will get 0. So let's use this reasoning in the present problem. So look at the first graph. So in this graph, we have the graph is a straight line. So it's a constant polynomial. It will never take the value 0. It will never intersect the x-axis. So this polynomial has no 0. In other words, it has 0 zeros. Okay. Now in the second part, uh, the graph crosses the x-axis precisely once at this point. So this graph, this polynomial has exactly one zero. In the third part, the graph crosses the x-axis here, point one, then here, which is point two, and then here, which is point three. So the graph crosses the x-axis three times, which means that this polynomial has three zeros. In the fourth part, the graph crosses the x-axis here, so that's point 1, and it crosses the x-axis here, so that's point 2. So this polynomial has two zeros. In the fifth part, the graph crosses the x-axis here, point 1, then here, point 2, then this point is point 3, and then we have this point, which is point 4. So the gra graph crosses the x-axis a total of four times. So this polynomial has four zeros. And finally, in the last part, the graph crosses the x-axis here. It touches the x-axis here. So this is also a zero because at this point also the value of the polynomial becomes zero. And then it touches the x-axis again at this point. So here also the value of the polynomial becomes zero. So this graph has a total of three zeros. And with that, the problem is solved. To learn more about how QMath can help you crack school and board exams, explore QMath Leap, a live online classroom program run by highly experienced and committed teachers.